In NASCAR, it's all about having the eyes in the sky. TJ Majors, you're the spotter for Joey Logano in the Cup Series. First of all, just what's a spotter? Uh, you know, my main job is safety, first of all. Um, it goes in to keep your driver safe, keep the car safe. These guys put a lot of hours into these cars, so you want to take care of it. And, you know, obviously you want to keep your driver safe. And um, anytime you can help him make a better decision, that's what you want to do. In terms of on track, what exactly is clearing? Because that's a phrase a lot of fans might hear but not understand what it means. Yeah, clear means you're clear. You can go <laughs> left, right, uh, anywhere you want to go. So, you know, it's all about positioning your car on the track and taking air away. So clear means, you know, you can pretty much go where you want. It's like going down the highway and, you know, you know, you pass a car and somebody else clear, you know, you can change lanes. So it's easier um, to not have to look in your mirror and trust somebody you have doing it. You know, it's easier just to have somebody telling you. The decisions are a lot quicker in racing, so you want to have somebody telling you and feeding you info. So, yeah, you'll hear clear a lot. You used to spot for Dale Jr. Now you spot for Joey Logano. How, what do you notice in terms of the differences between the two drivers and what they like to hear on the radio? Um, Joey likes a lot of info. There was uh, Dale Jr. didn't like talking in the corners. Um, liked a lot of info, but at certain times, Joey wants a lot of info all the time. So, uh, which I think is good. He, you know, he uses all the info I've asked him before. You know, am I giving you too much? And he's like, Have I told you to stop yet? <laughs> I'm like, No, not yet. So he's like, Keep going. So you just feed him info. You know, keep feeding him info. He takes every little bit of it and uses it. So uh, the more, the better. What does Joey like to hear? Does he want lap times every lap? You know, how descriptive does he really want to get? Um, I don't know if he wants lap times every lap because a lot of times your lap time is, you know, uh, dictated by something that's happening on the track, dirty air, uh, you know, stuff like that. So, um, no, Joey just likes, he just likes a lot of info, where people are moving to, where guys are running in the corners, how far back there, if they gain any ground, stuff like that. You'll hear a lot of three back a lane higher, two back a lane higher. He knows when they, when they get within two car lengths or so, he's going to try to make the air dirtier and make it harder to pass. So it's all about track position. We're here at a super speedway. That seems to be like the most difficult job for a spotter. How much focus does it really require? Uh, requires, um, you know, a lot of focus. You know, <laughs> you're looking at something constantly. You're trying to see where runs come from, where guys are breaking the planes or the bubble kind of is what we call it. You know, once they get within a half a car length, they kind of break the bubble and they can get up there and help each other. And it's not really the car behind you you're really worried about. You're more, you're more worried about what's happening, or I am personally, two, three cars behind you because that's where the runs start. Still inside, still inside, still there. Keep up on the go, my high high, go way up by the wall, way up by the wall, way up by the wall, way up by the wall. In terms of communication up on the spotter stand, drivers used to be able to talk to each other through radios, but now it's all through the spotters if a driver wants to communicate. How much of that is your job on race day? Um, well, Todd will go through me a lot almost here because I'm talking so much it's easier for Todd to tell me something on Channel 2 and relay it to Joey. Um, so I'll, I'll do a lot of relaying and stuff like that, but you'll, it's mainly, you know, you'll hear a lot of me at play races mostly, most of the time. And there's not, there's not as much strategy here as there are other places, so you're kind of, you know, you have a lap you're going to pit on, you're kind of waiting for that lap, and, you know, you're not working as many angles as you are at other places and stuff. So, but, there, you know, you're, you're constantly in contact with your driver, and, and Todd's constantly feeding me information on Channel 2. On Door Bumper Clear, you guys discuss possibly having a spotter in the TV booth. Do you think that would be a good idea? It just it depends on who it is. We don't <laughs> we don't need somebody in there that's going to set a bad example. But I think it, at a plate race, it could be some it could be beneficial. Um, I think you could get a different insight. Sometimes we see things that others don't. You know, these drivers. I think it's cool to have a driver like Dale Jr. in there that has seen a lot of things. But sometimes, you know, I think it could help to have a different perspective. So I don't know. It'd be it'd be interesting to do. Would you would you want to do it? I've got a face for radio, so I don't really know. I, I, I'm not I'm not 100% sure I need to be seen on TV. So, um, yeah, but why not? It's all about hearing you. That's what Joey Logano hears on a weekly basis from up the top. TJ Majors.